Today, I am going to max every single defense on my Clash of Clans base, but how much will it cost us? Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Juno Sloth. In the previous update, there were numerous defensive level upgrades, and I need to get all of them to maxed because I have a video coming up where I am challenging the world champions alternate attacks. The first thing that I did was assure that the 20% builder boost was active. There were also some special offers in the shop, so I went ahead and purchased all of these using code JUDO in my settings, of course. It was in Great British Pounds for me, but I have converted it for my US audience, $67.91, but how much more will we need to spend? I am going to try and do this as efficiently as possible in order to give you some tips. And if you look at my gems, 4,200. I think we're going to need more than that. So let's assure that code judo is inputted in my settings as it is. And let's actually purchase, let's say $100 of gems to kick it off. I always get scared when the purchase goes through outside of Clash of Clans due to the verification, but there we are. 14,000 gems added, and that is a nice start. Why don't we set up a progress base, which I've already started to do in the background, and these are the defensive levels that we received in the update. I tell a lie. These are the defenses we got as part of the update because we had the red air bombs, the giant bombs, and also the Archer Towers. So there is a significant amount for me to upgrade. I'm kind of looking forward to this, but I'm also not. On top of all of this, I still have some upgrades from when Town Hall 14 was released. The bombs. My Royal Champion also is not maximum level, and she does act as a defense. So let's pull the RC across. And I believe I also have two cannons, level 19. So this is going to be quite an upgrade, to be honest. But let's pull everything across. We've got five builders available, 14.7 million gold. And let's see if we can be pretty tactical here. So the most expensive is the wizard towers so let's begin by upgrading one of those this is what is going to take us the longest time 1900 gems to finish the upgrade and i don't have enough books to finish off all of them now with the 164,000 gold i can actually cook up a siege machine better than nothing and i believe i have a rune of gold yes i do so let's use that that will give us maximum amount of loot with that and we can upgrade another wizard tower i think we power through a couple of these most expensive upgrades 14,000 gold short are you kidding me it's for the video i guess let's go that means i was going to use a rune of gold but i don't have one so that was pointless is there one here please tell me there's a rune of gold because if not yes there is this will now give us maximum loot from the rune of gold so it was kind of worth it and i want all of my wizard towers upgrading first so let's get a couple more from the league shop you know what why don't we get the hammer of building that will give us better value do we get the hammer of heroes i'm going to wait a moment on that one i do believe the hammer of building will be best served with the wizard tower because it's 14 days and I believe that is the longest out of all of them. Yes. And the wizard tower also costs a little bit more. So we might as well use the hammer on the most expensive. Hammers on the most expensive and the longest. The books only on the longest. We've already only got one builder left. We do need the extra three levels for the royal champion. So let's do that. We have the book of heroes. So we can use that. Now what do we do about the rune of dark elixir? I have two of them. So we can get her to maximum level, but it's really protecting my loot. Let's cook up, I don't know, a bunch of headhunters? Saves me a little bit. We can use the rune now, and that will mean we can get the royal champion to level 29 with another book of heroes. And we have 98,000 dark elixir. I have tried to pull together every scrap of dark elixir before I use the rune. 
And I think I want to spend 680 to upgrade Lassie. It just means I don't lose all of the Dark Elixir from this rune. So let's go ahead and use this. It will allow us to get the Royal Champion to maximum level. And I don't want to use... Actually, I have a Book of Heroes here, so I will use that. I thought I was going to have to use a Book of Everything because I have five of those. By the way, you do get extra items from purchases, such as the special offers. Honestly, I don't think there's a way we can keep this cheap. I think it's going to cost us. Basically, I want to use the Book of Everything on the longest upgrades, and that would be the air defense. Then I can use one on the archer tower, but ultimately all of these buildings on the bottom, we are going to have to use gems in order to finish the timer. And I think, why don't we just go to the air defense next? Is there any gold within here that I can use? There is 1 million. That is literally perfect. So let's go with the air defense. And that was the building we wanted to use. I'm already getting confused. By the way, I am sure as I do this, there might be little bits that aren't as efficient, but it is just to have fun and try and max my base. Why don't we use the book of building? And I don't think I have another rune of gold. I don't think there was another one in here. Rune of elixir, rune of dark elixir, everything but... The gold. Oh, look at this. Book of building. Perfect. That will do me nicely. Now, I am going to be using a fair few of my league medals. This will keep the cost down. And if you are using the league medals, I would always recommend the hammers followed by the wall rings. But I am not upgrading walls in this one, just the defenses. Because if we take a little bit of a look, 5.6 million times 144. I am not even going to try and do the math. That would be expensive. One more it is. So I think I have enough to upgrade a few of these. But after that, we might have to start using gems in order to upgrade. How much are these buildings? 5 million, 7 million. Yeah, so not ideal. Okay. Let's just power through a couple of the more important upgrades. Air defense done, hurrah! Why don't we use the book of everything on the wizard towers and just get rid of all of the books. And then we know where we stand in terms of gems. So there we go. We are out of books already. And I think it's a book of heroes at the end. So that doesn't even help us. Moving further down, yeah. Book of Spells and Book of Fighting. So now we are on to using gems in order to finish it off. And this is where now it will start to get a little bit more expensive. So Wizard Tower's done, Air Defense done. Let's actually move them back across to the other side of the base. Oh no, I was busy pulling all of the buildings we were upgrading to this side of the base. And there is another Archer Tower hiding over here. So that's another one. How many is there to upgrade? I actually didn't realize we had as many Archer Towers in our base. I hope we have enough CWL medals to get majority of these upgrades. Otherwise, the cost will go up massively. I think we should go through a bunch of these first. Let's just go with the air bombs. These are massive for defending the air style attacks, particularly Lava Loon. Anything that has mass air troops, if you have your red air bombs positioned well, then they can wipe out those groups of troops. We're already needing more. Oh my goodness. CWL medals are going down fast. 1,000 gems for every seven days of upgrade for the air bombs. Honestly, I thought it might have been more than that, so I'm not too concerned on that one so far. We have only spent $99 on the pack of gems and $67, so we're not doing too bad at the moment. This one needs another level. That was sneaky. I thought the amount of gems was lower, so air bombs done. Let's get them to the other side of the base. Beautiful. We are getting there, although I think this side still has more than the other one. You know what? The Royal Champion, you are done as well, so she can go over there. Slowly getting there, but it's also costing us a lot more now, and we are running short on CWL medals. Only 1,000 left. Come on, let's hope we can do this. Why don't we go with the giant bombs next? One thousand two hundred 
per giant bomb upgrade and this could be it this could be where we need to purchase more gems oh we're just about going to get that and the final giant bomb as well only just okay let's get those to the other side of the map fortunately i do have some gems to collect from my profile but honestly that wasn't much we're going to have to go into the shop to get some more another 100 dollars, and hopefully this is enough but i think we might even need more purchase successful there we go okay now we can finish off the upgrades how many league medals do we have left 700 oh this is going to be close i think i might need to use some gems in order to get gold as well do we go with the bombs first these are four million nearly five million per small bomb is it really worth it wow if anything is having minimal impact onto my defense i think it is the small bomb but in terms of actually getting all of my defenses to maximum level not the walls but the defenses i guess we need to do it oh this is painful honestly i would not recommend gemming the regular bombs giant bombs is one thing but regular bombs is another but at least we're done i think i want to concentrate i think i want to leave the archer towers until last let's go with the cannons next so 14 million we've got 400 league medals left i think we're going to need some gems for some of them so there's one cannon 1800 gems are you joking me <sighs> that's not ideal 200 left we've got enough for this cannon we can gem it but all of the archer towers that's going to be costly okay only the archer towers left i believe let's take a look walls we've got one bomb somewhere what i missed it and it's got a bunch of levels are you joking me no you sneaky little bomb i guess that's what they're supposed to be right just hidden in the base does that ever happen to you though where you just can't fight there's a couple here as well okay they are maximum level so that's okay now i believe we just have the archer towers eight archer to and a giant bomb what is going on oh so the archer towers are going to be gems all gems for the archer towers but at least we are good to go at this stage we're down to the final moment oh this is now very expensive i kind of know how galadon feels right now he does these all of the time but i just can't bear to do it code judo is still active that is a good thing but even more gems and Bika always talks about this it often well it often happens for him but i've never really had this where you have to confirm that you do want to make the purchase what is happening i thought i had more medals but apparently i don't now i could get five million i guess we should do that it helps a little bit also i can get some gold from here but that is that is now it that is completely it there is nothing else so let's begin this i believe we are going to need another 100 and i will give you the grand total at the end 4,000 gems it is going to be per archer tower and that is only for the upgrade 6,000 gems per archer tower are you kidding me we are already out 100 dollars for three archer tower levels to the maximum level oh my goodness we are not doing this again anytime soon let me tell you that honestly i think it might even be another 100 dollars after this let's hope not let's hope not but i think it's going to be oh it's going to be close it's going to be so close we're not even that was only two archer tower levels two archer towers and now we are already needing another thank you to the video sponsor for this one and to you guys for using code judo please be the last one i think it might be if not we are very very close one archer tower music intensifies two archer towers we're going to be short are we or are we not five thousand eight hundred and eighty one gems is it enough oh by three gems there you are my friends three gems i cannot believe it and there you have we have the barracks to go i might as well upgrade all of the barracks 
that's not really a defense, but I might as well get them upgrading. And now I just have the walls to go, but let's find out the grand total. $764.76. Thank you to the video sponsor. If you do want to see when I speed ran the goblin maps using my heroes and healers, I have it linked here alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.